Hey, this is Roland from NetbookNews.com, and we're right here at CBIT 2011 at the booth of Pierre Cardin Company from Hong Kong. Um, they're offering a 9.7 inch iPad style tablet right here. So it's got a 4x3 form factor display ratio, I mean, and the resolution is 1024 by 768, pretty much as on the iPad. The display seems to be an IPS panel because it can be viewed from pretty much any angle. It's running a Tegra 2 dual core platform, ARM based, um, using Android 2.2. They're saying it's going to be upgradable to Android 3.0 Honeycomb, but they don't know when that's going to happen yet. And it seems to be a pretty nice device. It's got a capacitive touchscreen that's reacting pretty nicely and it works pretty zippy. Let's take a quick look around. On the bottom left right here we have the power plug plus the headset jack, SD card slot, micro USB behind that flapper right there. That's a mic up here. There's the volume rocker. And over to the right the power button. Hope you can see that. On the right, there's nothing except for the typical Android buttons, home, menu, and back. There's a camera in the middle up here that's 1.3 megapixel. It's supposed to be available with a 5 megapixel camera on the back too, but that's gonna, probably going to happen later. This model doesn't have one. Down here we have another mic, SIM card slot, docking port, and yeah, I don't know what that is. They're telling me it's supposed to be memory card slots, but I think it's the speaker. Pull it back down. It's got a G sensor in there. It's working pretty zippy, as I said. Let's check out the camera for a second. Yep, works. Let's go back here. And yeah, what else is there? Um, performance wise, just to check it out for a second. We'll go with that right here. Seems to be a 1080p trailer. The device is supposed to be available with an HDM HDMI out, but this one doesn't actually have one. But as you can see, movie playback works pretty awesome. It's running a custom Android 2.2, so not the best interface. But it should be pretty cheap, they say. It's probably going to be around $300 to $400 retail price, but they are not going to make the price because it's an ODM device.